likely to dream of thrones. All men dream of thrones. It is in our nature. Then what would you do? Connor! This tunnel will take you into the military district. And the Admiral? He waits for you to light this signal. And then the strike begins. And we... We'll be there as well.
fight. Need to stay away from the guards. Where are you, Charles? Gone. Come now. You cannot hope to match me, Connor. With all your skills, you are still but a boy. With so much left to learn. Give me Lee! Impossible. He is the promise of a better future. The sheep need a shepherd. He has been dismissed and censured. He can do nothing for you now. A temporary setback. He will be restored. You act as though you have some right to judge. To declare me and mine wrong for the world. And yet everything I've shown you, all I've said and done... We did not harm your people! Ah, we did not support the crown! We worked to see this land you... as though you have some right to judge. And yet everything I've shown you, all I've said and done, should clearly demonstrate otherwise. We did not harm your people! We did not support the crown! We worked to see this land united. Surrender, and I will spare you. Brave words from a man about to die. You fare no better. <laughs> Even when your kind appears to triumph, still we rise again. And do you know why? It's because the Order is born of a realization. We require no creed, no indoctrination by desperate old men. All we need is that the world be as it is. And this is why the Templars will never be destroyed. Don't think I have any intention of caressing your cheek and saying I was wrong. I will not weep and wonder what might have been. I'm sure you understand. Still, I'm proud of you in a way. You've shown great conviction, strength, 
Courage. All noble qualities. I should have killed you long ago. We've got a problem. Haytham doesn't have the amulet anymore. But the temple's still sending data. There must be more to this story. <sighs> Only one way to find out. My father is dead. Charles Lee now leads the Templar Order in his place. I see now why ours is an eternal war. For each piece taken from the board, another is placed upon it. Back and forth we go. Across the world. Across the ages. Some days mine feels an impossible task. But I cannot afford to be consumed with doubt. The people need me. Now more than ever, I must stop the Templars. I will kill Charles Lee. We gather today to remember a man of peerless vision who sought to change the world. And change the world he did. Look around. Even now the British prepare to retreat. Their spirits broken. Their forces splintered. The Patriot leadership shall soon follow. Either into our service or into the ground. He sent me away, that day, at Fort George. He feared for my safety. I should have stayed. He said there was no danger. He was wrong. I will kill you, Connor. This I swear. Not here, though. Not today. No. First... First, I'll destroy all you hold dear. I'll burn that homestead of yours to the ground and roast the severed heads of your precious founding fathers in its flames. And when I've finished with them, all the rest will burn as well. Your merry band of assassins, the human refuse that lives on your land, your village and its people, all of it, gone. You can try, Charles. But as with all your schemes, this too will end in failure. Get him on his feet! He will wait. He will watch. And then, when he's seen all his life's work brought to ruin, only then will I allow him to die. Take him away. Shame we have to keep you alive. Turn them off! <laughs> Thank you.
Where's Charles Lee gone? The harbor. To catch a ferry. They will lead me to Lee. I believe these men meet the requirement. You believe incorrectly. They're sick and weak. We're looking to build an army, not fill an almshouse. It would take months to get them into fighting shape. We don't have the time. No, please. We'll do anything you want. Anything. Only take us with you. Quiet, well. Your merchandise is useless to us. 
Perhaps we should discuss this back in my cabin. Sorry to have disappointed. As you should be. For us to have come all this way for nothing. Tell me now why I shouldn't have you thrown into the sea. No need to be rash. Only give me a little more time. I'll scour the other ships if I must. I'm certain there are prisoners who will meet your needs. Very well. You have two days. Thank you. Present yourself to the Green Dragon Tavern in Boston with the men you've chosen. We shall meet you there along with our master. Oh, there. Get in! Ow! He's trying to give us the slip! <laughs> 